Shift in his game, far more assists than goals for one of the terrific finishers in the NHL. Oh. And a blast there by Ehlers. Oh, that hit his own man. That hit little up high. Oh, and the referee is motioning to the training staff to hurry. He skated off with some assistance just a few seconds ago. This one is fired high and wide. Oh no, the skate came up on Boychuk as Lekkinen was headed down to the ice. Yeah, Johnny Boychuk, he's cut, he's heading right off the ice. Camper up the wall, Borton to Savard. Savard looks for Ryder in front. And Shattenkirk tips the puck away. Savard is reaching for his helmet. There was a collision down in the corner behind the play. And I don't know if Savard's opened up, but he is in a lot of pain. Don Del Negro has pressure on Savard's head, so we can presume that he's trying to stop some bleeding there. And as Carl Alsner puts the puck down into the Carolina zone, picking in, just does get there in time. Ooh. It's icing, and there's the crash into the boards. And it's what they talk about each and every season about someday adopting a hybrid icing rule. Being helped by members of the training staff and the physician staff of both teams. And now Prosser settles a bouncing puck across to Ballard who fires it back in. Ballard oh right over in front of the Islander bench. Martin takes him out hard. Ballard is down. He is out. Prosser jumps to his defense. Ballard back to his feet. Oh, Takes it around, back of the net, clipping it up on the boards, doesn't get it. Oh, what a get hit! Out. Oh, did he get hit? Dion Phanuk was carrying the puck out, and Sauer is going to be rather sour about that hit. Catches back to Paquette. A high wrist shot looking for a tip. Rick Nash, Paquette, gives him a pretty good run. And McQuaid says, how'd he do? This time, although he's been bothered by a back injury with the Oilers, but... Good game the other night. Oh, and down on the ice, Franzen's hurt. Johan Franzen, who looks to be getting up on his own. We'll check on that when we come back. I think the Bruins are going to get a power play out of this, Jack. I think that cross check by Ekman Larson enough in that little exchange. And now Vitale wants to go with Kevin Miller. Oh, Miller caught him with the right. Miller again. He off balance, loses his head. Oh, he tagged him right in the mark. Vitale with a couple of harmless. Oh, Miller just using Vitale's face as a punching bag. Trying to get on track. Borbietsky, the first guy there. Overskated the puck. Borbietsky goes oh, down hard. He's, he's down. down on the ice. And he may be out. He's not moving. They've got to check on him quickly. I didn't see what happened. Come in the shot, save Bobrovsky. Rebound, Leafs get to that. Oh, Pronger gets hit up high, and he goes right down. This Pronger, just by his reaction, is in some trouble here. He is going right off very quickly. Todd Bertuzzi after Steve Moore. Grabs his shoulder, having a little chat with him. Grabs his sweater, gives him a whack. And piling on is Andre Nikolishin, and everybody's into it. Now we get a line brawl. And Hedberg wants Oh, Anderson. Steve Moore's hurt. Really bad. Moore's head went into the ice. Former captain of the Harvard Crimson, the Windsor, Ontario native Steve the Moore. Far side, and quickly from Vela goes to Domi. His pass was blocked. Vela now engages with the forechecking of Aginla. Back to the point. Gilmore is down and tangled up there with... Lowry and both players are kind of crawling towards their respective benches and Doug Gilmore has been hurt. And uh, Lowry was down for a while too. He gets up. Now I don't know whether they're winded or not. It was a it was a collision well away from the puck. But Doug Gilmore doesn't look as comfortable. Matter of fact, Flyers. Here's Estacito breaking in. Don Maloney's in front. Wide by Estacito. Front of the net as Don Maloney is pulled down and Bernie Perrett got cut. It looks like he skates toward his bench. He pulled off his mask as he comes across. It might have been a stick around the eye. It's about the only place he'd be vulnerable there. And Jim, I don't think it was Watson's stick. It looked oh. to me on the replay like it was the Don Maloney's stick. That's Watson, Watson pulled, him down. pulled him down. Yep. Ballon, yeah, he took a shot. This is Goulet two nights ago in Montreal. And the boards in Montreal do not give. He crashed into the boards and lay there motionless for three minutes. Patrick Vaughn, the goaltender for Montreal, immediately signaled that Goulet was in trouble. Look, Maple Leafs and Rangers, Nick Kiprios, Ryan Vandenbush. And this is like rock'em, sock'em robots, and boom! Drops Kiprios with that one like a shot. He goes down like a ton of bricks. He had a concussion, a cut under his eye. Front of the, uh, just in front of the penalty box. 
Forbes and Boucher as they came out. And really going at it as they came out of the penalty box and Boucher is hurt. He's down on the ice. And uh, we've got to have a, uh, a delay here as Boucher... Hit in the throat by a puck on Saturday night. The frightening incident occurred in the second period against the Philadelphia Flyers. Trent McCleary blocks the slap shot, and the puck makes a direct hit on McCleary's neck. player's larynx was fractured and a lung collapsed. McCleary, who came within minutes of dying, was transported to a Montreal hospital where doctors reported on Sunday that he was in critical condition and breathing with the help of a respirator. But the 27-year-old was said to be awake and alert and even scribbled a note to his teammates saying he's, quote, doing great.